Hello, so here we are out at the hive, doing, ready to do a full inspection. So we start on the outside as usual. We've got lots of flying bees, so it's definitely warm enough. There's no question it's warm enough. It's actually nearly 30 degrees out here today, but plenty of flying bees. Just having a look, some are fanning on the outside. We've got almost no dead bees. There's just one dead bee on there in the outside and nothing underneath the hive, no ball of bees underneath the hive. So all's looking good there. So what we'll do is we'll just give them a little bit of smoke just to tell them we're approaching and then we can move around to the back of the hive and begin our inspection. So I'm going to begin our inspection by taking the roof off, turning it upside down. I would put it on the floor, but I've got a double hive stand here so I can pop that nicely next to there. And we put our super on. Uh, 10 days ago. Now they probably haven't done very much in the 10 days because we've had the thing called the June drop and actually, or the June gap, I should say. Um, and, and what's happened there is actually it's a time of year when there's not very much out there for them. Also, the weather was very hot at some points and, and the whole ground dried up. So I'm not expecting them to have done a great deal, but hopefully they've done something. And now we're through that June gap. And what we're actually finding now is that um, the situation is that uh, we've got nectar flowing in. We had a lot of rain uh, a few days ago and it's really warm now, so it's great. The crown board really thoroughly stuck down. So what I'm going to do is just very gently prise it off. Nice and gentle. Pop it down to one side. And we'll just have a look, see if they've done anything on these frames at all here. I'll just take this one out and we'll have a look. And what we can see, yeah, they've started making their hexagons. And in fact, you can see some glistening nectar in there. So they're starting to work on it. They're bringing it in. So it's all go. And uh, very quickly, they'll start to actually bring some nectar in that they'll make into honey and they'll start filling this super up. So the super is really well stuck down. So what I'm going to do here is loosen it off very carefully, take it off and very gently now pop it to one side. And as we said before, smallest number of surfaces touching so that we don't crush any bees. And I'm just going to take the crown board, pop it on the top there. And that's nicely done there. I can now take the queen excluder off. Now this isn't as well stuck down as it normally would be because actually we had a slight problem with the video and we've already removed this once. So I'm just doing it for the second time. It was very heavily stuck down with propolis before. I'm just gonna turn it, have a look, make sure the queen's not on there. Remember she's marked green in here, no sign of her. So I can just pop that down out of the way in front of the hive there. And then I can begin my inspection. Take the dummy board out first. So I've just got to very gently move it back, get hold of the dummy board, pick it up, move it to one side, pop it down there so I've got some space. And then I can take my first frame out. Gently move the bees out of the way of my finger there. I could use a bit of smoke. Pop my hive tool in. Gently move the frame to one side. Hive tool in again. Gently move it to one side. Here you can see propolis. This is the bee glue that they bring in to glue everything together. It's also a very good antibacterial substance. You can use it for a sore throat or you can use it on wounds if you cut yourself or that sort of thing. Move this very gently back. Lift up the first frame and have a look and see what's on here. And you can see it's nearly all honey. Here's the honey that's actually capped underneath here. And in these cells, all the glistening nectar that they're converting into honey. So that's all going very well. And we can look on the other side and they're working that side as well. So it's all going well. We've got the worker bees and we've got a drone here wandering about much bigger. So we can pop this frame down to one side, just so we've got lots of space to work with in the hive. And then I can take this next frame out, exactly the same, finger in, support it here, pull it back very gently, 
finger there. If you don't want to use your finger, you can just put the tiniest bit of smoke in. That's literally all you need. Pull it back. Pull the frame away. Lift it very gently. Have a look at what's on there. And you can see, again, we've got some drone cells there, the larger ones. And here, underneath here, we've got the female worker bee cells, the flat um, cappings there. And I'm looking all the time to see if my cappings are flat or domed. If there's any sunken ones, I need to investigate that. So I can pop this one back in. So very gently put it back and draw it back against the end of the hive there. And then we can move on to the next frame. Again, just pop my finger in, hold it, gently prise it apart, finger in, gently prise apart. You'll notice we haven't used any more smoke. No problem, we don't need it. Pull the frame back a bit, lift it. Looking at my side here, absolutely beautiful frame of brood. I'm just gonna pop it down there so that you can see it. All of this capped brood. Now this is nice and flat, so they're all females underneath there. And we can see that the queen's been laying all around the edge as well. Here we've got some honey at the top. You can see the difference in the color. Here's the cappings, the biscuity colored cappings over the brood. And here's the white, much whiter colored cappings, which is over the honey, that arc of honey across the top. So if you remember with the frame, I hold it up, lift it to the vertical like that, turn it and look at the other side upside down. And again, the other side, lots of bees on there. Just pop this down, show you that, move them out of the way for us. Thank you very much bees, very kind. All nice and flat. Again, girls underneath there, every one of those will be a new worker bee. If you look in these cells here, you can see some older larvae. So they're probably five, six, seven days old. Uh, they're capped on day eight. So actually um, they will be very close to being capped now. So again, we can pop this one back. Nice and gentle, in we go. Here we go again. Next frame. These are some of the older frames that we put in when we actually put the nucleus in originally. Same thing, pull it back, have a look. And we've got an excellent view of the, despite the fact it's old comb, you can see all along the bottom here, these drone cells, obviously drones there. And then here, all the flat cappings of the female worker bees that will become there. And on the edge here, we've got another queen cup. So we need to have a look inside again just to see if there's anything in there. Now, that one, I think, no, it's entirely empty. I thought it got a, an egg in it, but it hasn't. So we're all right, we can move on. Nothing, nothing to worry about there. Oh, there's another one here. Here we have one here, let's have a look inside. See if there's anything in there. Again, nothing in that one. Another one here, have a look. Made a bit of a mess of that, there's nothing inside that one. So we can move on again a bit further. Just got my glove caught there underneath the frame. If you get bees on your hands, don't brush them off. Just slap your wrist and they'll come off. Um, that one moved off before I got a chance to demonstrate it. So next time one's on me, I'll, I'll show you. Finger in, pull back gently. Finger in, pull back gently, and just pull the frame back, lift it. Now, here we've got something very interesting. If you can see uh, this bee, I've lost her now. Let me move out of the way. There's a bee with some propolis on her legs. There's the queen. Here's the queen down there, just running out of the sight into there she is again. And here's a drone. So you can compare the size of the queen with the size of the drone. I'm going to pop that dro drone next to her and you can see the queen's a very different shape. So be very careful with this frame, working it over the hive, making sure if the queen does drop off, she's just going to drop into the hive. All looking good there. 
moving on to the next one now what i'm going to actually do at this stage so i'm going to ask carol to move around to this side because she's actually standing in front of the hive and the bees are queuing up behind her trying to get in so she's causing a, a bit of a traffic jam there so she's around the side there that's excellent and the bees now that were queuing up behind her they, they've uh, they can now get in to the next one pull it back nice and gentle pull it up fabulous laying pattern by the queen here again you can see almost every cell <coughs> has had an egg laid in it <coughs> we've got a few male bees around here underneath here these will become drones this little patch here all the females there again as soon as i finish with this i'll try and change it out you can see it's old comb but whilst it's full of brood like this i don't want to do anything here we've got a queen cup on the side here let's have a look inside again nothing in there so maybe we might have got away with it who knows let's just pop the frame back in move on to the next one nice and gentle we don't take too long over this but i mean we want to enjoy this and enjoy our bees so listen we want to beekeep with our ears as well i'm just going to shut up for a minute and let you listen to the sound of this hive it's quite loud but you'll you'll hear it's it's nice and low pitched and it's a nice gentle hum so i'll just be quiet for a minute <laughs> okay so listening to that i know the bees aren't in any way flustered by this and i can carry on once again a big frame of brood don't forget every one of these is going to become a, a new bee we're not going to end up with millions of bees because these bees here are only going to live for six weeks so they're going to be replaced by the new bees underneath even more bees there I was expecting to see the odd one actually emerging because it's so hot today but um, it's uh, nothing I've seen at the moment but we'll see if we can find a bee that's uh, cutting herself out at some point but nothing we've seen so far okay so we're getting towards the end now just three to go and remember just a, three weeks ago Oh, here we go, some bees on my hand. So to get them off, I'm just going to slap my wrist. There they go. Gently lift up again. Here, she's been laying. If we look in these cells here, here's the larva. They're all pearly white. Just move the bees out of the way for you. They're all pearly white in those, curled up in a C in the bottom of the cell. So looking really, really healthy. We're looking to see if any of those larvae were dead uh, or stretched out in the cell or brown or a different colours pearly white. Then we really ought to talk to somebody about it and, and check. It might be nothing, but it might be important. Ah, now here's the bee. Here's, here's the bee with propolis on her legs. You see the brown substance on her legs. She's been out collecting propolis, tree resin. That'll be a heck of a job to get that off, but her sisters will have to help her to get that off. Not a lot of pollen coming in this afternoon, and that's probably because it's so hot the nectar's running well, so they've stopped gathering pollen and started gathering nectar. Just nice and gentle again. Pull this one back. This feels a bit heavier, this has probably got stores in it. Well, just to call you a liar, here we've got beautiful cappings here, some drones here, but all females again, and quite a bit of stores in here. You can see where the nectar's glistening in the bottom of the cell, and you can also see around the edge where they've stored it around the edge. And looking on the other side, you can see, yeah, this is nearly all nectar here, if you look. There's quite a lot of nectar at the top here and then down here you can see you can see the larva again again beautiful pearly white curled up like a sea in the bottom of the cells 
very very happy with all that no signs of disease that's what we like to see and then we'll just do the last one got some bees on the end of my hive tool just just knock them off nice and gentle with us I haven't done a lot with this last one this side they've got some pollen and but mostly nectar you can see here we've got some pollen in these cells here that's where my finger is there some yellow pollen there but nearly all nectar you can also see some gray dark gray pollen in there that's probably field bean pollen there's quite a few field beans around here at the moment and on this side they haven't really finished a lot of these cells they're only just working on now but they're putting nectar in these here then we've got some drones wandering about on there so that's our inspection all we've got to do now is put everything back where we found it so let's see if we can move all these frames in one go I've got my thumbs in there and I'm pushing and it's quite an effort but there we go I managed to move them all back in one go take the frame here pop it back in there we go girls thank you very much pop the dummy board back in put my queen excluder back on got bees on the queen excluder I want to make sure I don't crush any so I'm just going to give it a knock and they'll all fall off there they go and then popping the queen excluder back on what I would do normally but I'm just um, making it uh, putting it back on now but we'll next time we'll clean all of this off make sure we got a bucket with us just push it along so we don't crush any bees pop it on like that pick up my super pop that on again shuffle it around a bit try and make sure we don't crush any bees along the way there so that's all on nicely pop the roof on and there we are inspection complete for another seven to ten days and hopefully when we do the next inspection we might see some honey coming in up into the super up here um, of course we might see that they're making uh, efforts to swarm but we'll just have to see we don't know certainly just at the moment we've had a lot of rain we've got some a lot of sun about at the moment the brambles just coming into flower so i'm really hopeful that we'll see some honey fairly soon in here so hope you enjoyed that that's a full inspection done um, our bees are doing well don't forget this is a, a nucleus that we only put in uh, three and a half weeks ago so they're doing really well for us absolutely excellent hope you enjoyed it if you did please give us a thumbs up if you feel you can subscribe that would be great it really helps us with youtube and look forward to meeting you again on the next video and so happy beekeeping